If you guessed Soundgarden's rendition of Come Together, you'd be correct. For Miss Lena Wiley, Mr. Gavin Clark, and Frozen Meat Stick. And if you'll allow me just a moment, I would like to take this opportunity to thank, with so much thankiness, Mr. L.J. Raider and Mr. Stephen Boswell for signing up for the Patreon supporter of the Cause Club. Gentlemen, thank you so very much. And if you would like to find out what that's all about, the link, of course, will be in the description. To kick off the proceedings, we chug away on an E power chord. That's open E string, A string, second fret, D string, second fret. So we do that with one finger. Boom. Then, of course, when the riff starts, it starts with that same E power chord. And then you're going to grab D, and you're going to go 7, 8, 9, hammer on, hammer on style, and then grab the B string, 7th fret, and give it a very lazy, very creepy sounding bend. If you don't like moving that far, you can play an E power chord here, A string 7th fret, D string 9th fret, open E string still, and then you're kind of closer to home. It's not exactly the same three notes, versus, but it's still an E power chord, so you could do that if you want. Got to be a joker, that's the first time something's different. You're gonna strum your open E string frantically four times. Here's a tip, mute everything, but your open E string, of course, with your left hand, and then you can just strum away. Then we're doing power chords from the fifth fret of the E string to the seventh fret, followed by the same frantic E string, and then power chords third fret to fifth fret. So we got five, seven, Bend the D string fifth fret. And so on. The chorus. I like the frantic open E strum thing, so let's stick with that uh, for the first chunk, anyways. But I think the rhythm changes from da 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 to ba da da. So you're gonna go ba da da and then seven to nine. The second E note has more of a uh, one hit kind of feel to it, so I'm gonna play the E power chord down here. And then we're going three to five, just like before. So we got. Bum, ba, da, seven, nine. And Chris's part is just the A string 11th fret and 7th fret. The solo features the bass playing G, E string 3rd fret, and open E with a little mini bend as you switch between those notes like this. guitar is harmonizing with the bass playing D, so let's use the A string 5th fret and B on the E string 7th fret, same exact rhythm. So you can do either one of those you want, and when it switches to the next portion of the solo, I think that guitar drops out, and it's just the bass playing B and A on the 7th and 5th frets of the E string, same rhythm still. You can do single notes, power chords if you want. And the signature thing that Kim does is grab the G string 14th fret and give it a huge bend. Down to 12. Back up to 14 a bunch of times. Until it switches to, instead of going back up to 14, going down to 11. the pieces. That was a little easier than I thought it was going to be. The outro is just the G E thing. And I think it would be safe to say use your E minor pentatonic scale for your noodling needs. 12, 15, 12, 14, 12, 14, 12, 14, 12, 15, 12, 15, 12, 15. And that is it for Soundgarden's rendition of Come Together. Thank you for that really great request. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for being here, and I will see you next time with more stuff. Goodbye.